A music video director is the head of music video production. The director conceives of video's artistic and dramatic aspects while instructing the musical act, technical crew, actors, models, and dancers. If you're a commercial music video director, which means that you make a healthy amount of income from, from, music, from music videos, all right, it means that you're very in tune with the now. From my own point of view, it is a creative way of showing what you can put out there. He's also a copywriter and he's also a brand developer. Qualities of a good music video director should be the ability to um, uh, translate the visuals of a song in a way that the audience will get to appreciate it. A good music video director should be able to translate the visual of, of, of a good song in, in order for the audience to be able to relate to it. I've never looked at uh, music videos as uh, as a standalone, right? Because anyone, anyone who has the ability to direct um, music videos can do commercials, right? Um, at the very least, right? Not everyone that shoots music videos has the ability to be able to do um, episodic content or, or full on dramatic content that has continuity. It's nothing less than astonishing the monumental changes in the Nigerian music videos. The days of localization of our music videos does appear to be a very distant memory. Good in terms of quality production, which has helped in the enlargement of artist fan base and consistent recognition. Me and my brothers across the past 18 years have been more than 50% responsible for where the music industry is today. You can quote me anywhere. We have made people understand what it means to brand. There are a lot of, a lot of people in the field of music video, from the stylist to the makeup artist to the models to the cinematographer to the director to the producer to the, to the location manager because there's this, I think it's grown big from how music video used to be and now. Music video back in the days and nowadays, I mean, when I moved back to Nigeria in 1995, I I saw a couple of music videos and I was like, it could be better than this. I mean, considering the fact that the equipment thing wasn't really, really there, but even without those, you could still make it work. And that is how I came into this video to bring in that touch of uh, 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 upgrade. Before DJT, there was, I mean, you can ask anyone this, right? No one knew what, what it meant to grade. I mean, people knew what it meant to grade, to grade but there were no ones, nobody was grading. Grade was something that you'd probably think that they would do in America, in the UK, or in SA. The 80s would be the first official colorist. Once you saw the rugged man's piece of wood, you're like, okay, fine. <laughs> All right, something has, something has happened. That's the first influence. And he, he, he went on to influence learns a lot, a lot, lot more things. Just the entire tradition of just being able to shoot on a back-to-back -back basis, right? And pretty much make money from shooting, shooting, shooting videos. Um, he would be the first person to move the budget from 150, 250, to 500, to 750, to 1 million, to 1.5, to 2 million, to 2.5 to 3 million. That's the first nigga <laughs> right there. <laughs> Formed the Nigerian music videos much more than we can ever know. From 98, 99 to 2000, the reason why we're able to have a music video industry now is because of technology. Just that major advancement into being able to put, um, put the filmmaking process in the hands of people who are passionate about film, filmmaking, not just in the hands of people who have solely just gone to school. That pretty much moved the advancement and that has been consistent. Because of that, you've moved from the camcorders. Let me give you an example. DSLR cameras are with the highest revolution, revolution till date. Highest. 
DSLRs give birth to music video directors like Ajay, LA. 2005, 2006, when the, 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 the best camera you can shoot on was a film camera, 35mm, and it's so difficult to shoot. You can't open the, the film stock under the under the under broad daylight you can't do all that it was just too difficult but technology has made it easier for people to just pop out you see new directors coming out you see everybody just and the equipment are getting simpler every day they are, they are user friendly every day i think it's, it's it's helped us a lot in producing more music video directors the advancement of just the 70s the 5ds that just made them say, you know what, this is the camera, I hold it. And everything that is here, I can be a lot more flexible. Despite the monumental growth in the Nigerian music visuals, it's a bit difficult to replicate the great production in most of the Nigerian-made films. What filmmaking, when I process it, I don't think y'all really get it. I, I've heard people take shots at the Asaba, and Nollywood. Quote me, anyone that says that's an ass is ignorant, stupid, and please forgive me, is a bastard. If they are fellow filmmakers and their music video filmmakers that have said that, then they are ignorant, not objective, not being fair, and haven't thought about what they're saying. The entire Nollywood industry has entertained Africans across the diaspora for more than 20 years. Do you know what that means? It has become a culture for more than 20 years. Do you think that came from smiling? Replicating that. But paid an average of, well now it's an average of a million naira to 1.5 for three minutes. They have max double or three times that for 120 minutes. What do you expect? There's a lot in, in movies. And I'm not trying to say it can be done, like replicating the, the, the picture quality that you see in, in music videos into into films. Uh, I think what I would just say is a lot of the Nollywood guys don't want to spend money, you know, because it all boils down to the fact that good equipment, good post-production equipment, good cameras, and, and some do use those things, but at the end of the day, they just use it like just filming there's a lot of tweaks you do business people do not know how to invest into this business the banks for one who are supposed to be supporting they've opened up all these cbn loans and all that have not the slightest clue of what to do i wouldn't listen to the right people we we'll listen to the people that would speak with an accent right and tell them to speak a lot of presentation a lot of blocks there is no standard studio for shooting music videos in nigeria none by standard, I mean there's no studio that is completely has three arms. At least one of the studios is ramped. That you know that you can have a headroom of about 20 feet and a space of about about 80 to what am I saying? 80 to 120 that is ramped. That has a rig where you can pretty much put your lights. So light hard, or lights already exist. That you have mixers and you pretty much can pull pull down your lights up and down. That has soft box soft, soft box lights. That has standard cost, costume rooms. That has provisions for you to actually just go in there and make your life a lot easier just from a lighting point of view just from a set construction point of view there isn't in directing a music video the directors unlike their counterparts in the film industry are heavily involved at every stage of production you need to be able to move fast if you shoot in nigeria because it's the only way you can make up for the budget there's no supplementary budget if that day goes and you have not finished your yeah, what's going uh, what's what you're supposed to shoot then it's busy and the basic is on you i was trained to shoot myself direct edit and color grade myself because i didn't have anybody to even do that for me in the first place so when i started off i used to do everything by myself but now i've trained people and i can easily 
put out work for people to 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 do for me.